Hey everybody, welcome to J Stern Designs. Um, this week I'm finishing up an old project that I had started probably a year ago. I had taken apart my bag that I had made from felted sweaters. This is my original embroidery. And what had happened to it is the lining became embarrassing. It was tattered and ripped and really I couldn't I couldn't bring it places anymore because it was embarrassing. So I wanted to take apart the lining, wash the outer bag, make a new lining, and put it back together. And I thought that was going to be a really simple, quick project, except I got hung up on finding a replacement for this sweater um, piping. You can see it's really chewed up and gross. So happily, my friend Gail provided me with the perfect color sweater. So what I want to do today is I want to show you how to make um, piping using felted sweaters. Of course you could use any fabric, um, but it's really easy to do. And the thing I want to tell you is if you don't have the cording to make piping, maybe you've saved shoelaces. And I was running around looking for my spool of cording that I have to make my piping and I couldn't find it. And I'm like, oh, I have these lovely shoelaces that I never used from a pair of sneakers that have already gone into the recycle bin. So I'm actually going to use these shoelaces as the filling for my piping. So I think that's kind of clever. So if you're in a um, pinch, you know, this is another good idea for filling a piping. So the first thing I want to just show you quickly is I have two feet here. I have a zipper foot and I have a piping foot. Most, if not all brands of sewing machines come, I mean, have the option to have accessory feet that are specifically designed for piping. And if I turn this one over, you can see that there's a ridge along the bottom of the foot. And what you do is you actually settle the fabric wrapped cording into that groove and it holds it for you while you stitch. Now the catch is if you're working with a wider cord um, than the foot that you have, it's not going to work. So just know that piping feet come with grooves in, all, in a bunch of different sizes. So you can make wider piping and narrow piping, baby piping. Um, so the piping foot I have for this machine is actually too narrow to use to make the piping. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to use my good old zipper foot. And the good news about that is every machine comes with a zipper foot. So the next thing is let me just show you. I'm going to simply take my um, knit sweater here. This has been this is a felted um, wool, and I'm just going to start. I'm going to line my ruler up near the top of the sleeve cap for this, and I'm just going to make two strips of felted wool to make my piping. And let's see. I think that this this will be long enough to um, you know line the opening of both sides of my bag, but I want to I want to use the longest strips possible. So I'm just going to cut right along here. Okay, so I've got a cut edge, and then to make my piping, I am going to make. Um, let's see. I think to be safe, I'm going to use inch and a half strips. So I'm just going to cut two of those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my felted wool up close and you can see it's got a wrong side and a right side. So if you're working with a felted wool sweater, just look at both sides and pick the texture you like better. There's no right or wrong. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my shoelace and I'm going to lay it and then I'm going to fold it in half. So you can see that that's going to give me half an inch to sew. Um, just I'm just going to put a few pins in there like this. And if you roll it in your finger like this, it'll snug it in and then you can stick a pin in there. I'm just going to do like four pins. I'm not going to totally pin it in. I just want to get it so it's easy to work with. All right. Excellent. All right, so now that I have it looking like this, I'm going to set my sewing machine up and I'm going to just show you how to use your zipper foot to sew the piping. 
I'm putting my zipper foot on, and what I want to do is I want to attach it to the left side, or if it's an adjustable foot, you want to push it over so most of your foot is closer to the, you know, the inside of your machine. Okay, and what I'm what I want to be able to do is really snug it in there. Select my straight stitch. Okay, my needle is extending over to the left. I'm going to put my presser foot down. Okay, you can see I can get in there nice and snug. I'm going to stitch down and take the first pin out. And as I start stitching, I'm just going to make sure that the edges of my um, sweater is even. And then I'm just going to start stitching. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm pulling that sweater snug around my shoelace. Like that. So see how nice that looks? Very easy to make piping. Notice that I'm pulling the piping towards the front a little bit on a diagonal, so when it gets to the side here, it actually has to work a little bit to get around the foot, and that helps keep it nice and snug keep the stitching nice and snug next to the shoelace. Alright, you can see that this makes really, like a really nice piping, and I think for my bag, okay, you can see that this is going to be a really, like, nice edge. See, so it's going to look like that. I have a lot of things going on this week. I'm going to have a quick tip on Quick Tip Thursday, um, and then I'm going to show you the results of this bag, and I'll have some tips for putting this bag back together on JSD TV next week on Tuesday. Um, after that, I am off to LA. I'm teaching two back-to-back -back workshops, one for the LA ASG. Super excited. I'm doing the Gene Fit workshop and the T workshop. And I've heard there's just a couple spaces left in the T workshop. So if you live in the LA area and you're interested in making the T, um, here's one of the T's that I absolutely love with one of my new necklines. Um, you can look on my blog in my workshop section and I have the contact information um, for that workshop. So if you live out there and you're interested in taking the T-Fit workshop, you know, please check that out. Also, I'm teaching my new Pontinent Gene Fit workshop, and that's at Barron Sewing Center. Um, also, the contact information for that is on my blog. So if any of you are, uh, you know, around the area next weekend in California and you want to take a workshop with me, there's still a little bit of time to get into one of them. Um, another thing is, I want to say that this month is National Craft Month, and I'm super excited. I know that you guys know I teach on Craftsy. Well, Craftsy's doing this amazing um, promotion this month. It's actually for the first two weeks um, of March. If you sign up for a new Craftsy class, you're entered to win a chance to get a thousand dollars to donate to your favorite uh, craft inspired um, charity and you know I started thinking about it at first I thought that was you know I couldn't think of any and then I started thinking about all the after-school programs and you know the programs for kids to introduce kids to sewing and crafts and things like that so I really think that this would be amazing um, you know, to be able to donate that kind of money to a program like that to really spread the love of whatever kind of craft it is. It doesn't need to be sewing, but I'm really excited about that. So I will put a link to um, the knitting class that I'm taking. Um, I love my knitting, and I'll have an update for you. Maybe I'll show you that 
during a live video on Facebook, you know, during the week. I'm having so much fun t actually taking a video class. I've never done that before. So if you've never taken a class and you're, you know, you've been thinking about maybe trying it, this is a great opportunity. You, know, you can get the class on sale, plus you can be entered to win $1,000 for a craft-inspired charity that's near and dear to your heart. So that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you for a quick, quick tip on Thursday.